guys, what's going on? It is me, KLV, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you this really good Banshee build. And I've been using this quite a lot in survivals and just farming resources. And it is kind of really f fun to play, especially playing different frames that I have to keep playing, like Korra or Necros when farming resources, or just playing games in general. Because normally I'll use Revenant or I'll use someone else. So using Banshee is very good because I don't really use Banshee a lot. And this has made Banshee really good at for survivals. So for the build that we do have is we this is our build right now. So we have the shooting gallery ability instead of a sound quake. We also have a silence and we also have sonar. So our sonar does give us a 6.35 uh, damage multiplier. What is still really good? It's better than nothing. It's a lot, a lot more better than getting I don't know, like a five or something like that. So it is really good. Silence as well, just using silence around the banshee and the aura that stuns enemies and and will limit their perceptions and tactical response to gunfire and warframe attacks. So that shooting gallery gives an ally extra damage while jamming the guns of nearby enemies. This power shifts between team members. So basically this is gonna jam the guns so it keeps them stunned for longer. Same with the silence, that's gonna keep them stunned as well. So that is what is really good about it, because your silence is gonna be stunning them and your shooting gallery is gonna be stunning them. We also have the augment for resonance, what it does is a sonar augment. So killing an enemy by shooting their weak spot will trigger another sonar for 100% of remaining duration. So that basically means that we don't have to keep spamming our sonar. So if you see here, we do have like 90% efficiency. Now you can go low if you want to. You could do a maxed out blind rage. What you could do if you want to, it's up to you if you want to do that or not. But personally, I like to do to have the this one because then we have 90% efficiency. But it's completely up to you. So also the other stuff we have is prime continuity. We have muzzle flash. So shooting gallery argument after six kills assists by a player with shooting gallery. Messer's next shot will blind enemies within 12 meters. Now this works with melee weapons as well. I was mainly just using the Chronon Prime using this. I'll show you my Chronon Prime build after this build. So we've got the resonance, we've got prime flow, we've got rolling guard, and we've got overextended. We also got power drift and steel charge. Now the reason why we've got steel charge is because, like I said earlier, we're going to mainly be using melee. That's why we also have arcane fury on here, so that we have a 120% melee damage to melee weapons for 12 seconds. Now this is going to be on a constant because it's a 40% chance for 120 on critical hit. You have a 40% chance on critical hit to get 120% damage. So basically we have a constant 120% extra damage. We also have the 60% melee damage from our aura and we also have power drift for the extra damage. So this has basically been the build. Uh, if you saw about the background footage, was going from really easily. Now this is the Cronin Prime build that I will use. I believe I showed it in my Rhino build, but I'll show it again. We've got Condition Overload, Blood Rush, Berserker, Healing Return, because that is a really key one to have to be able to survive, especially with these squishy-ish kind of frames. Uh, we've got Vicious Frost, World Prime Reed, we've got Virulent Scourge, and we've got Weeping Wounds of that Viral. Now. This basically has been it has been the build. If you guys did enjoy this video and you did like this did help you out, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. I do have giveaways going on right now on my Discord and on my YouTube channel. I'll have a little annotation on the screen right now to my Warframe giveaway video. And also my Discord link will be in the description down below. Anyway, see you guys later.